Hi. If you're watching this video, you might have some modeling clay. This modeling clay just came out of the package. So that means it's hard and cold and um, not fun. I just split it in half. And you can even try to twist and split it in half more than that because a small piece of modeling clay, when you squish it in your hand, will become a lot softer a lot sooner. We want to make it warm. Only when it is warm will it be soft and buttery, like other clay that you might have. Modeling clay is awesome because it never dries out. It stays in the position you want it to be. And um, you can kind of have the same piece forever and keep doing different things with it. So the main skill I want to build today is a pinch pot. To make a pinch pot, you first have to form a ball or a sphere. I roll my palms in a circle to get that ball or sphere. You can also use the table. And we want to make it as smooth as we can. Smooth, smoothing means rubbing or continuing to roll. And there we go. We can see some little dark parts on it, but that's okay. So a pinch pot, step one, ball. Step two, belly button. Use your thumb to push a belly button right in the center, looking down at it. And step three, make some duck kind of hands and start to pinch and turn. Pinch and turn. That's why it's called a pinch pot. See how I'm turning and pinching. My thumbs are digging deeper. My fingers are feeling the thickness. And I'm trying to make it even all the way around. This is a very small one to make a very tiny fruit bowl. Fruits for the fruit bowl are made the same way. Always start with a sphere circling. There's an orange. If I want to make it into a apple, I could just add a little stem. If I want to make it into a peach, I can just add a little cleft. If I want to make it into grapes, I would just do it even smaller. I can do circles with my fingers or down on the table to make a tiny sphere. And I can make a banana by taking a sphere, rolling it back and forth. It starts to develop into a longer pill shape. And then once I think it's a good banana size, I pinch the ends and give it a curve. So my banana is smooth and curvy. So if it was yellow, it would look like a really tiny banana. Something else you can do with a pinch pot bowl is give it a base. I'm gonna roll a ball and pinch it to be a little bit short, like a donut or cookie shape, and put it on the bottom. Now my bowl has a fancy bottom. You can also make it into a basket. You will do the rolling to make an even long stem. And you will smooth the handle onto the sides. Now I have a really cute basket. Think of other ways you can decorate a bowl that we will put fruit inside. With modeling clay, we just play. So whatever you make, we'll say goodbye to it at the end of art, but we will play and see how many shapes we can make with clay. Now to get your clay, you have to make yourself a ticket. I'm calling it a ticket today because it's your ticket to go get clay, but next time it's gonna be our little mat. How many primary colors are there? Three. So I want you to draw three circles, nice and big on your paper, and then draw a line connecting your three circles in a triangle. And then draw a second line so that the space between each of those circles becomes like a tube. Point one of them towards you and start with yellow. Pour yourself some lemonade in your cup and that le lemonade go through both straws that it's touching. Next, Pour yourself some red fruit punch 
into your cup and let the red fruit punch go part way down the straws in both directions. And last, turn your card and pour yourself some blue juice. It can be any blue flavor you want. Fill up your cup and let your blue gently wisp down the straw towards the other two colors. You'll start to see the middles where colors are mixing. I see orange, I see purple, and I see green. Make sure to put your name in the middle and your class code. And then you'll flip it over and design a picnic blanket. Your picnic blanket should blend colors just like a flannel shirt. So you're going to make stripes in one direction. You can use a ruler if you want. I like to my, let mine look like freehand. And then you're gonna do stripes in the other direction. You can do thick or thin, but you have to do at least two colors. Once you're finished, you can turn in your ticket to get some play clay today.